Lung cancer can be broken down into non-small cell lung cancer and small cell lung cancer. Non-small cell lung cancers are the most common type of lung cancer and occur in about four out of five patients. And the most common histology for non-small cell lung cancers is adenocarcinoma. In general, in the United States, about 200,000 cases are diagnosed a year. And so it makes it a very substantial population of patients with this burden of disease. Over the last 15 years, we've come to recognize that uh, advanced lung cancer can really be divided based upon uh, and stratified based on patients who have genetic alterations and oncogenic drivers. Uh, the first uh, targetable oncogenic driver that was identified was the epidermal growth factor receptor, uh, which was identified uh, in 2004. Uh, we've since learned that um, these genetic alterations are found in about 10 to 15 percent of Western patients. And these patients tend to have characteristic clinical and pathologic characteristics. Uh, most notably, we know that these genetic alterations uh, confer sensitivity to treatment with targeted therapies or tyrosine kinase inhibitors. Since the initial discovery of EGFR mutations in lung cancer, We've come to recognize this as a paradigm of trying to identify uh, oncogenic drivers that could be targeted with TKIs. Uh, collectively, uh, we know that uh, in the United States, there are uh, four different genetic alterations where we have FDA-approved targeted therapies. These are EGFR, ALK, ROS1, and BRAF. And in general, patients with these specific genetic alterations tend to have pretty characteristic clinical and pathologic characteristics. For example, uh, patients with EGFR, ALK, and ROS1, uh, these tend to occur in patients who have uh, a never or a very light smoking history. Uh, the same can be said for emerging oncogenic drivers, such as uh, RET rearrangements, uh, which again tend to be enriched for patients with a never or light smoking history. One of the outliers of this though is BRAF. Uh, BRAF mutations are found in 4% of patients with lung cancer. And in contradistinction to the other uh, targetable alterations, uh, BRAF mutations can also be, be seen in patients who have a heavy smoking history.